got some really unfortunate news for Pittsburgh Steelers cornerback Justin Lane. Uh, he ended up getting arrested in Lake County, Ohio, um, for facing and he's facing felony gun charges. So what ended up happening, Mario? Um, he was arrested on suspicion of felony transportation. Um, he had a firearm inside of his vehicle. Um, according to the Lake County, Ohio police, the jail reports. Um, and he also got charged with two misdemeanors, and, and those two misdemeanors are driving with a suspended license and exceeding speed limits. And he was booked just after 3 a.m. on Friday. So it's just, uh, it's it, it's just a very ugly situation, Mario. And uh, police said that um, uh, Justin Lane stopped, uh, uh, he init they initially stopped him when he was going 89 miles an hour on a 60 mile an hour speed zone, which is just absolutely insane, Mario. And the Steelers actually made a claw on this. They said, and I quote, we are aware of the incident, but are still gathering information. We will have no further comment at this time. And before I continue, because I actually have a couple things to say about this. Um, the, uh, the source for this was Ben Baby, who was an ESPN staff writer. I like that name. That's a pretty cool name, dude. Shout out to Ben Baby out there. But look, let me start first, okay? I I got a lot of questions, you know? And obviously, there's, you know, there's not a lot of information on this, because this, this was just given to us um, not too long ago today. So there's really not a lot of information on this that you know basically everything I told you is about as much as we got. So I can't really tell you, you know, what what he was doing or what he was gonna do with that gun. But you got caught with it. So needless to say, you know, you know, the cops think that you were up to something with that gun. You know, who knows? Maybe he could have been going to the gun range and, you know, he forgot to cover up his gun, which by law, you know, if you're gonna have a firearm in your car, you have to have it in a in a gun bag or like a gun case or whatever, and you have to have it out of sight. That's the law. You can have a gun in your car as long as you follow that rule where you keep it in your case or whatever. You know, same thing, you know, if you go if you go hunting with a sniper rifle, you gotta take it apart and put it in the box and make it so that it's unseen. That's the law. You can't have that exposed. Because they're gonna think that you're up to something. So that's why that's why I question this, because he could have been doing anything. You know, he could have went to the gun range, he didn't have a case for his gun. You know, he really could have actually been going to do something with that gun. Like, kill somebody or shoot somebody. I don't know. I can't tell you. We don't have that kind of information yet. And when we do, we'll let you, we'll, we'll, we'll make an update video on it. But, again, Mario, and, and it's not even just a gun that I'm more worried about. I'm more worried about the fact that, one, this dude was driving over the speed limit. 30, almost 30 miles an hour over the speed limit, Mario. 89 on a 60. So, basically, 30 miles an hour over the limit. This dude was driving with, with a suspended driver's license. I mean, come on now. I just uh, like, I just had someone hit me up the other day. He was like, oh, I just got arrested because I stole plates on my car. Because, yeah, like, you know, yeah, like, I didn't, I couldn't buy plates, so I had to steal the plates. Guys, if you can't get plates for your car or if you can't re um, um, uh, redo your license, don't freaking drive. It's that damn simple. I know you have places to go, and I understand that. But if you have a suspended license or you have a vehicle, in which you can't afford a license plate, do not drive that vehicle. Or don't drive any vehicle at all. Well, once if you have suspended plates, oh, it's suspended plates and you, your license isn't suspended, then go for it. But look, you get my point. This is what happens when you don't follow the law, Mario, and, and everybody out there. You can't drive without a suspended, you can't drive with a suspended license. You can't do that. You're going to get arrested like Justin Lane did. You can't drive a car with, with stolen license plates. You're going to get arrested because they're not your plates. You can't drive a car and register. You're going to get arrested because it's not inspected and it's not registered by the DMV. You've got to do this the right way. You can't be doing this. You know, I'm a little less concerned with the firearm because, again, you know, there this, this still needs to be more information on it. I ask questions, but, again, you know, you know, other, he could have been doing something else with that entirely. But the reason why I'm more concerned with the, the, the driving thing is because we actually have information on that. You know I me, mean? and and again, you know, this ties into what I was saying before. Drive safe. You know, you know, like um, we were talking about the Terrence Clark thing, where he passed away from from um driving over the speed limit, past the red light. Follow the damn rules. Stop speeding. Drive with an actual license. Stop driving cars that are unregistered. Stop driving cars that aren't expected and are up to date. Stop it, because these things happen. You know, and and you know, obviously in this case, he didn't he didn't get into a car accident, but he did get arrested for doing that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? Just, just do things. If you gotta do something and you need something done, do it the right way. You know what I mean? If you have a suspended license, ask a, you know, ask your teammate for a ride. You know, I'm sure they won't. I'm sure they won't mind if they're even in the area. I know, I know some teammates in the off season they go home to their home states and stuff like that. But if you have a teammate in the area, you know what I mean? Hit them up. You know, or or you got you make money, buy a damn Uber or something like that. I don't know. 
I'm just I'm just giving you suggestions at this point. But look, I basically said everything I needed to say. I still question the firearm. There's not a lot of info, but when there, when there is more on it, uh, we'll let you guys know. But uh, as of right now, you know, the only thing I can say is, you know, I guys just drive safe. Follow the law. If you're gonna have a gun in your car, follow the law. Keep it, keep it, keep it in the box or keep it in the um the gun case like you're supposed to do. You're not supposed to have that exposed because if it's exposed, you get you get pulled over, you get arrested, you know. So if you're gonna go to the shooting range or you're gonna go to the um go out and hunting, have the gun in the car the right way. Have it in the case. You know, have it in the gun bag, whatever it is, as long as it's covered up and it's not seen. As for the as for the car thing, you already know. I don't even have to tell you guys. Do it the right way. Dive safe. Have, you know, don't be diving when it's suspended license or whatever the case might be. And just make the right damn decision, people. Come on now. Yeah, you know, you said everything, Nate. Um, he was granted a release on a personal bond. So, I mean, so, I mean, when you really think about it, Nate, like, I mean, he's lucky for that. And I don't think he's going to really get any prison time. But to be honest with you, I you said everything you needed to say. I don't really need to say a lot. Again, you're you're in a car with a gun that is not in a case or it's exposed. You're speeding. That's number two. You're driving with a suspended license. That's three things. That's three strikes, you know. And I don't know what's gonna happen for Justin Lane. I don't think he's gonna get I don't think he's gonna go to go to prison. I don't think he's gonna get, you know what I'm saying? But hopefully this is a lesson in that like look, if I'm gonna use a gun for like a gun range, you know, something hopefully safe then I'm going to put it in a case, you know? But again, like you said, we don't know what he could have used this gun for, okay? We just don't have a reason, okay? And hopefully something comes out. If we get an update on, like, and if we get a major update on this case, we'll let you guys know. But look, man, it re it is really unfortunate. Um, again, he's going to have to go to court May 5th. They're going to have to figure that stuff out. Um, most likely he's going to have to do some community service, like a fine for what he did. But again, I don't like it how they're athletes and they do this type of stuff and they jeopardize their future. And the spot that they have could go to somebody who really needed it, you know, or somebody who really worked their ass off to get there and just can't. It is, un it's, un it's unfortunate as hell, Nate. It really is. But you know what? Again, I do wish Justin Lane the best of luck. I really do because I hope that he can learn from this and I hope that he can, you know, continue with his NFL career. Well, let's just be, you know what I'm saying? I'm not wishing nothing bad on this guy unless it was something to the fact that like he was trying to kill somebody. Then you need Absolutely. to go to like prison, you know? But again, we don't know exactly what happened. Okay. We just don't, but I hope that it wasn't that. And if it wasn't anything to the point where it was life threatening to someone or himself, I do wish him the best of luck. And I hope that he learns like, look, I got to keep this gun in a case if I'm going to use it on a gun range or I got to be very careful what I carry around or I can't be driving with a suspended license or I can't be speeding going 30 miles above the speed limit because that's dangerous as well. Um, so, you know what, Nate, with that being said, I wish him I, again, I hope that he can learn from this. And if he does learn from this, I wish him the best of luck in whatever future he has. But let us be a reminder that people make the right choices.